Seattle Seahawks long snapper Nate Boyer would tell you he's just an average guy. But his story and path to the NFL are anything but average. I grew up very fortunate, you know. My parents were just so supportive of everything that I wanted to do. I almost felt kind of guilty for that. And then Time Magazine article came across me about the tragedy in the Sudan, and I just felt compelled to go and do something. I, I kind of gained my patriotism over there, you know. We came back and made the decision to enlist. I believe he just turned 24 at the time, and he wanted to become a, a Green Beret, actually. The motto is De Oppresso Liber, which means to free the oppressed. And so it was just right up my alley because that's what I wanted to do. Boyer entered an elite U.S. Army Green Beret class of 157 recruits. Only 11 survived the intense training period, and Boyer was one of them. It wasn't just being able to put that Green Beret on my head. It was, you know, who I would be helping, you know, my purpose, like finally finding something where I, I felt needed. After five years in active duty, with his military service coming to an end, Boyer found himself seeking a new challenge. I was 28 at the time. You know, if I was going to go try and play football, which I wanted to do, it was now or never. In 2010, Boyer enrolled at the University of Texas. And despite never having played the game, he approached Coach Mack Brown about joining one of the most prestigious college football programs in the country. And here's a guy that says, I'm going to make your team. And you say, OK, and then you find out this guy's never played a day in his life. I was a safety first. I was a scout team safety, but I dressed for home games and got to run the flag out of the tunnel every game, which was something that I'm really proud of. Number 37, Green Beret, Nate Boyer. There was a day and two a days where guys were griping about how hot it was and how hard it was. And I said, Nate, come on up front. Tell us about Iraq. And they got quiet really quickly. <laughs> But Boyer wanted to be more than a team motivator. Before heading back overseas after his freshman year, he saw an opportunity. He came and said, you're losing your deep snappers. And I can do that. I said, have you ever done it? He said, no, never done it a day in my life, but I'm going to take a ball coach. And I'm going to practice every day. And I'll come back as your deep snapper. When he returned, Boyer earned the spot. During his tenure at Texas, Boyer completed over 500 snaps, and every one was on the mark. He also remained deeply committed to his military team and continued to deploy every summer. This guy goes and fights with the special forces in the summer. There's just something between here and here with him, between his heart and his head that works for him and, and that's what makes it so unique. The same drive that led him to the Green Berets and then to one of the most elite college football programs in the country gave him the confidence to tackle yet another challenge trying out for the NFL Draft. Six, seven, look at that! And on day three of the NFL Draft, Boyer received a call and an offer to sign as an undrafted free agent from a team that recognized his drive and unique intangibles. Seattle Seahawks! Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to an opportunity to, to show what I can do. That's just who I am. I embrace challenges and things that seem hard or impossible just don't seem that way to me.